In the mid-1860s, one of China's most famous martial artists, named Dong Haichuan, began to pass on a new style of martial arts. Dong Haichuan at that time was retained by the imperial court in the Qing dynasty. This new style of martial arts was called Bagua Zhang, which literally means eight trigrams palm or martial art. Though a new style, its foundations lay at the very heart of traditional Chinese culture, which is the I Jing, known in English as the Book of Changes, and its philosophy of Wu Ji, Tai Ji, Yin, Yang, and the Eight Trigrams. Being based on a philosophy that encompasses the creation of the universe and the movement of heaven and earth, Bagua Zhang is much more than a martial art. Dong Haichuan passed on a way of approaching all things through the Bagua. Aside from the methods of fighting, one of the most developed areas in the Bagua school is healing. Be it for curing illness or maintaining a long and healthy life, Dong Haichuan's system was all-encompassing and astounding in the amount and variety of exercises it contained. Dong Haichuan's first and most thoroughly taught student was a man named Yin Fu. Yin Fu lived with Dong Haichuan for many years and learned both Bagua's martial and healing skills. He became quite famous in the imperial court and the flavor of Bagua that he eventually passed on took his name and became known as Yin style Bagua. Yin Fu was a very conservative man, and while many claimed him as a teacher due to his fame, only a few learned Bagua's fighting skills deeply, and only one man, Mun Bao Jun, learned the entire system. As Yin Fu had done with Dong Hai Chuan, Mun Bao Jun spent many years with Yin Fu and later cared for him in his old age. He followed Yin Fu's example and had many students, but only one chosen successor to the entire system, Xie Pei Qi. As within the system's tradition, Xie Pei Qi spent many years with his teacher and later cared for him in his old age. He also followed tradition and had many students, but only worked towards passing the complete system to one. Tragically, that student died in 1985. Born in 1920, Dr. Xie is now the only person left who knows the complete system of Yin style Bagua. He is very concerned that future generations will not know the depth and power this system has. Realizing that he does not have enough time left to train any single student in the entire art, Dr. Xie has broken tradition and begun openly teaching the complete martial and healing systems. It is his hope that the system will survive in the combined hands of several of his senior students. He has also begun the incredible task of documenting Yin style Bagua's entire martial, medical, and internal cultivation arts in book and video format so that it will survive into the future and allow many to learn its skills. In the martial aspect of Yin style Bagua, Dr. Xie is working hard to train his student He Jinbao in the entire system. He Jinbao, who began studying with Dr. Xie in 1971, is an incredibly talented martial artist and one of the doctor's most formidable disciples. Understanding the importance of this work, he has dedicated himself full-time to helping Dr. Xie document Yin style Bagua's martial arts in book and video, and working with the doctor to train a new generation of practitioners in the full art. It is their hope that this video series will help their goal of preserving Yin style Bagua and seeing it flourish in both the East and West. Welcome to the 10 volume video series of the Jun Triagram Dragon System of Yin Style Bagua. The 10 volumes of the Dragon System are divided into two volumes containing the foundation practices that develop dragon power and fighting skills, and eight volumes containing the forms and applications of each of the dragon attacking methods. In the first section, Dr. Xie Pei Qi gives an overview of the system and its fighting methods. In the second part, Dr. Xie's student, He Jinbao, presents the material specific to that volume in a clear and detailed manner. Basic practices are the foundation of any martial practice. In Yin style Bagua, they allow a practitioner to develop the correct power and skills and prepares the practitioner for learning its fighting methods quickly and effectively. To learn Yin style Bagua without constantly focusing on the foundation practices will leave a practitioner with only hollow movements devoid of any real internal or external power. The foundation practices of Yin style Bagua make up the first two volumes of this ten volume series. 
Volume 1 features the strengthening postures that develop the in-style Bagua martial body, as well as the circle turning and direction change methods which define in-style Bagua's style of movement. Strengthening postures are isometric standing exercises designed to develop the internal and external strength needed for correct martial practice. In Yin style Bagua, each animal has its representative posture, as well as a posture for each of its eight attacking methods. Through diligent practice of the strengthening postures, a practitioner will develop strong tendons, muscles, chi, and a powerful structure through correct joint and body alignment. Turning the circle combines movement with the isometrics of the representative strengthening posture to further develop internal and external power in yin style bagua. Circle turning is at the same time the most basic and the highest practice within bagua. Turning the circle trains a practitioner to move in relation to an opponent as well as harmonizes the practitioner's chi with heaven and earth, meaning they will remain mentally clear and physically balanced during combat. The animal's three basic methods for changing directions when turning a circle are also demonstrated. Volume 2 features the basic training strikes of the animal system and the four most classic strike training methods of yin style bagua. Three representative strikes from each of the eight animal attacking methods have been chosen to help practitioners develop correctly. Through drilling these 24 basic strikes, the practitioner will become familiar with the personality of each attacking method allowing quick assimilation of the strike variations that will be encountered within the forms. While every strike and every form should be drilled individually, these basic strikes are the foundation for practicing them with the correct force and execution. Each of the 24 basic strikes is presented in the four traditional strike training methods of Yin style Bagua, which are the stationary drilling method, the single step drilling method, the two step drilling method, the three-step drilling method. The stationary drilling method develops the timing of the hands and waist so that one learns to emit power correctly. The single-step drilling method develops the timing of the hands, waist, and feet so that one learns to emit power while moving correctly. The two-step drilling method develops smoothness between advancing and retreating attacks so that one learns to emit power while suddenly changing directions on an opponent. The three-step drilling method is the most difficult of Yin style Bagua's training methods. It combines all three of the previous drilling methods with the added difficulty of having to maintain balance along a narrow line while emitting power. In the past, Yin style Bagua students were instructed to never practice this method in public. The Dragon System Video Series, Volumes 3 through 10. Volumes 3 through 10 feature the eight attacking methods of the Dragon System, which are Volume 3, the Pushing Strike Attacking Method, Volume 4, the Lifting Strike Attacking Method, Volume 5, the Carrying Strike Attacking Method, Volume 6, the Leading Strike Attacking Method, Volume 7, the Moving Strike Attacking Method, Volume 8, the Capturing Strike Attacking Method, Volume 9, the Chopping Strike Attacking Method, Volume 10, the entering strike attacking method. The attacking methods on each volume contain its seven training forms and the application of each move within those forms. The forms are presented in the following manner. An explanation of the moves within the form. The form practiced at the learning speed. Each move practiced to develop power. The form practiced with power in each strike. The form practiced with the power contained. Finally, each move within the forms is taken apart and its application is demonstrated. The first section is understanding the moves. Here, Hu Jinbao slowly talks his way through the form, describing each movement in detail. This section should be studied closely to understand the placement of the hands and feet within the form. The second section presented is the learning speed. Here, Hu Jinbao practices the moves of the form in a slow, relaxed manner enabling one to gain a feel for the strikes it contains. One should practice the learning speed in the same relaxed manner until familiar with the form and the hands and feet move in unison. The third section is developing power in each move. Here, He Jinbao briefly demonstrates drilling each strike in the form to develop power. It is imperative to drill the strikes over and over again in each of the training methods presented on Volume 2 of the Foundation Practices. Drilling individual moves to develop power is a hallmark of yin-style bagua. 
The fourth section is practicing with power. Once power is developed through drilling, the form must be practiced with clean, powerful movements, carefully visualizing the opponent and its application. This practicing technique is the foundation to combining form and power. The fifth section is containing the power. Once power has been developed in each move, and there is a deep understanding of the form in the placement of the hands and feet, one needs to begin practicing the form at the highest level. When containing the power within the form, the power within the body flows from one move to the next with little or no release. The speed of the form is also increased and attention is paid to the smooth transition from one strike to the next. Truly achieving containing the power within each form requires long practice of the previous sections. The sixth section is application of the moves. Here, Hu Jinbao demonstrates the application of each strike against an opponent, move by move. While many variations exist for each move, Hu Jinbao demonstrates its most basic application. This should be studied closely to understand the placement of the hands and feet in relation to an actual opponent. It is also the key to understanding the possible variations for each move and provides a glimpse into the power and use of Yin style Bagua. Today, I am happy to present this new video series of martial videos, which is the Jun Trigram Dragon Martial System. This system of Gong Fu stands alone as a special part of Yin style Bagua. It is very different than the dragon of other martial systems. I will begin by discussing why this system belongs to the Jun Trigram. This trigram stands in the east where things begin to grow and where the sun rises. In the Jun Trigram Dragon System, the Chen and Kun Trigrams, or pure yin and yang, arise and grow. The Chen and Kun Trigrams combine and give birth to sons, that is male children, the oldest male being the Jun Trigram. The position of the Jun Trigram is that of the rising sun, also referred to as the beginning of yang. The beginning of yang also refers to the beginning of spring. Spring is the season in which the 10,000 things arise and grow. So we call this the lifting and holding palm. The dragon, as most people know, is an ancient Chinese spiritual animal. The dragon rises from reptiles and insects. All reptiles and insects are below the dragon. Secondly, the dragon has the art of flying and rising. It has the skill of flying body, having infinite changes. It has the golden dragon enfolding around. It has black dragon shoots and leads. It has the golden dragon closes its mouth. It has the green dragon rises to heaven. It has the skill of winding. It has the ability of limitless change. This is the dragon. The dragon's palm is representative of the Jun Trigram. The thumb is held stiff, the index finger leads, the middle finger is straight, the ring and little finger are held together. The Lao Gong is hollow. This posture is symbolic of the Jun Trigram. This is the beginning posture of the Jun Trigram. The fingers are held strictly and correctly. The elbow doesn't leave the solar plexus. The hand doesn't leave the elbow. The forearm twists, rolling to the inside and harmonizing to the outside, thus having the ability to press and go around. The shoulder is relaxed, the elbow dropped, and the wrist is held strong. This is the dragon's palm beginning strengthening posture. The left and right are done in the same manner. Its attacking methods are pushing, lifting, carrying, leading, moving, capturing, chopping, and entering. Other techniques of the dragon do not leave these eight attacking methods. Each of these eight attacking methods has seven changes. Eight attacking methods, seven changes, 8 times 7 making 56. If you include the upper, middle, and lower palms, the number becomes 168 changes. 
The number 168 is consistent with the math of the Bagua and the Book of Changes. I will now talk about stepping. This is Bai Bu or swinging stepping. This step is also part of the Jun Trigram Dragon system. The right side. The thumb held stiff, the index finger leads, the middle finger straight, the last two fingers held together, the Lao Gong hollow, and the shoulder relaxed, the elbow dropped, the wrist held strong. As to stepping, same as there are three levels in the palms, there are three stepping methods. The high stepping is lifting, kicking, swinging, stepping. Middle stepping is circling, swinging, stepping. The lower stepping is lifting, stamping, swinging, stepping. These are the three swinging steps. Contained in this stepping is the beginning of the changes to the 72 leg techniques. The beginning of leg techniques are in the dragon system. Why do they start with the dragon? As everyone knows, the dragon rises, falls, and coils. In this way, the opponent will not know your intention. All the kicking techniques have the swinging step practice method. Why swing step like this? The front swing steps, and the back foot can attack in many ways. If the front foot hook steps, the back foot cannot easily attack. Winding, stamping, springing, hooking, chopping, swaying, breaking, stomping. Every leg technique has nine methods. Nine times eight makes 72 kicking methods. Presented in this video series is the lifting and holding palm martial system. The lifting and holding palm has eight attacking methods, namely pushing, lifting, carrying, leading, moving, capturing, chopping, and entering. Eight large techniques, eight palms, or eight attacking methods. The first of which is pushing. There are several pushing techniques. I will only give a few examples. The first is the inside pushing strike. The opponent enters with a strike, then enter. The lifting strike, the rising lifting strike, reverse lifting strike, rising lifting strike, capturing lifting strike. The carrying strike, the lower carrying strike. Here you are moving with the opponent's force. The leading strike. This strike uses one hand. The other hand can help. The moving strike. The single hand moving strike. The double hand moving strike. After the moving strike, you attack. The capturing strike. The outside capturing strike. This strike is used to capture the opponent. You can use one arm to capture both of the opponent's arms. Two arm capturing strike. Outside capturing strike. Inside capturing strike. The chopping strike. Reverse chopping strike, upright chopping strike. Entering is striking, entering right in. These are the eight strikes. They are then separated into three levels. The upper palm is like this, 
The lower palm is like this. I hope everyone will carefully study these videos. Here I will introduce some basic techniques of the Yin style Bagua Dragon system. The system includes increasing vitality, preserving health, fighting, strengthening the body, self-defense, and also seizing and grasping. All the palms in the system include these benefits. For example, if the opponent uses two hands to grasp me, you see, my arm goes out and I break the attack. My arms rotate and I can grasp the opponent. The opponent is now at a disadvantage. This is the first posture of the dragon system. It is used to break an attack. It contains seizing and grasping within it. Again, the opponent attacks. I push down, using pushing. I am just taking a few examples. This is the moving strike. Here I can also grasp. Every single palm contains within it breaking an attack and seizing and grasping. First the attack is broken, then attack using seizing and grasping. I hope you will carefully study these videos. Thank you.